Hello, my name's Edmund Clee. We're here today at the Wellingborough Swans Gate in the town centre. And it's the 15th of May today. Uh, next week on the 23rd of May, we've got the European elections. So what we're going to do today, everybody, we're just going to ask the Wellingborough public their views on Brexit, the European elections, and the future for Britain. Okay, thank you. Uh, my name's Edmund. Uh, we're just doing a survey today in Wellingborough, asking about Brexit and the European elections coming up, etc. So, uh, will you be voting in the European elections next week? Well, uh, I find that these days, no matter who you vote for, you don't, uh, they don't tend to follow through on what they, um, on what they promise. Um, they always promise everything um, up until they get in. I know that some of them try more than others, but yeah. it seems these days that you don't matter who you vote for. Do you think it would have helped if Theresa May, in the beginning of the referendum when it was finished, yeah. she had gone to um, Corbyn and said, look, this is for the country, yeah. not for the party, yeah. because it seems like too little too late. Do you think yeah. that's detrimental now? Yeah. She's done the wrong yeah, thing? Definitely. Or has she, she done it before originally? Yeah, she, she's um, uh, she stuck firm to it seemed either to the wrong things yeah. or to the right things when it was too late. She needed to um, be firmer in the beginning yeah. with, um, with uh, what she wanted to push through um, instead of giving too many concessions to people. Um, and now it's right at the end, she's like she's, she's almost panicking trying to um, uh, gather everything back together uh, before the time runs out again. So when, when you think about it, when we had the, when we had the referendum, Obviously, the country voted. Yeah. So, do you think we should respect what the country voted, regardless if you'll leave or remain? Yeah. I'm not going to ask you who no, you voted no, no, for, no. but we are a free country. This yeah. country, Britain, we had soldiers fighting the First World, yeah. Second World War. Yeah. You know, for our freedom to say yes or no, yeah. and whatever you think, the British people said we're leaving. So, do you think we should honour that and not have a second referendum? See, I can see both sides of this. I can see both sides. I can see why people um, say that they should have another referendum because um, uh, things weren't as clear as what they are now. People say that, though. But don't you think we had we had one of the biggest, highest voting populations true, ever? True, so don't you think true, people true, knew true, what we, they were voting for? <sighs> see, that there's the other side. <laughs> isn't it? That's, that's, that is the other side. Yeah. Um, see, it's. it's See, you, you, you've kind of caught me between a rock and a hard place because I can see, I can see both sides of the argument. But like you say, I suppose um, it would come down to the people voted, so that must be what we go forward with. Okay, that's very good. Thank you. And also, one more thing. Now, do you think that we are leaving? It's like a divorce from the EU. Do you think the EU has shown their true colours? how they're bullying us around a bit. And don't you think the lead beefers were probably right to think that? Yeah, well, they're making the most of it, though, because um, at the end of the day, um, uh, Europe needs Britain. Mm -hmm. Britain is uh, one of the most powerful countries yeah. in the world. Yeah. Um, and at the end of the day, they do need Britain. Without Britain, um, they're not going to crumble, but yeah. things are going to be a lot more difficult um, for them. So. Basically, it's like they're sort of almost doing it out of spite to try and right. sort of... Like a divorce. Yeah, like, like a, a divorce. divorce. Yeah, yeah. Sort of trying to do it out of spite. Because at the end of the day, uh, well, England needs Europe as well. Yeah, but I agree. England I agree. Um, has been uh, 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 championing on for hundreds of years, basically, right. um, um, uh, without help. I know we're in a new day, yeah. but England will survive. Um, just as well, but yeah, it seems like Europe now is trying to get the last yeah. ounce of flesh and trying to get the last dig out. Hey, one you... final thing, leading on to that question and then answer, do you think this country can stand on its own two yeah. feet in this new global world? Yeah, yeah. It'll yeah. take a little bit of time, yeah. um, but same with anything, it'll take a little bit of time, yeah. but yeah, I think they will. Yeah. I think they will. Okay. Thank you for your opinion. What's your name, sorry? Uh, Docker. Uh, Docker. Uh, thank you very much. Docker. All right, Docker. Thank Docker. you very much. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, Hello, my name's Eddie. Uh, what's your name? Sorry, Sorry. Uh, my name's Taylor. 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 Uh, we're here today just to ask people opinions on that. Yeah, we're going on. Do you think, um, do you think leaving was a good thing or a bad thing? I think it's better to stay together, yeah. in a way, but the way they've treated us, and not done us a good deal, it makes it totally, um, what would be the word? Uh, well, I was going to use rubbish, I can't think of another word. But, um, I think we should stay together, but the fact that the way they're treating us, 
I mean, the laws that they bring in, like about mobile phone prices, everything's great. Nowadays, you know? So everything's great, but the way they treat us, it makes us want to leave even more. Yeah, so well, I think I don't think we're going to leave. I just, you don't think we're going to leave? Well, I don't know. You've got Nigel Farage yeah. coming in. So we got till uh, 31st of October to try and sort a deal out. Um, would you take a no deal or a bad deal at the end of the day? What would I, you I would take a um, no deal. Yeah? Yeah, or okay. not a bad deal, a no deal. Because uh, that's what they need. And do you think originally when we had the vote, regardless if you voted for or against, all the parties have got together and have done it on behalf of the British people? Because at the end of the day, we are free democracy. And we're over, if you left or right, you should have... It doesn't you know, feel like democracy at the moment. No, no, it doesn't. Yeah. And do you think she, Theresa May should go as Prime Minister or do you think she should hang on to this all this I think she's a good woman. It's good to have a woman in power. Um, but I don't know, I think we should try, maybe try someone else to get a better deal. Maybe she's not. You know, if it was me, I know I'd get a better deal. I'd, I'd tell them, look, you, you need us more than us. You know, we're, we're the second next Germany. Yeah, our GDP, which is money. money is the root of all evil. And do you think Britain now can survive on its own in the brave new world of globalisation? Yeah, now I we've accepted we can, that we're leaving, do yeah. you think this country can still stand Yeah, because I think we can get much better global deals. Um, so that I, that's what I would like. I would like some sort of connection with the EU. Yeah. But also we, we do our own deals because we're Britain. Yeah. We a lot of GDP. To be honest, I mean, this town is messed up. I've never seen nothing. I've never seen so many homeless people. I, I, I go to Leicester to go to my bank, and I've never seen so many homeless people smoking that spice or the lean it man, it's rice. It, it's disgusting, mate, and I, I just want... I wish I was the mayor, you know what I mean? Because I clean up this town. I want to clean up everything. And do you think Northern Ireland's quite complicated with the British sort of... Uh, no, I don't know what that is. I think they're just, they're just winding this up, isn't they? <laughs> they completely won this. I mean, that's, that's their thing, the backstop. Mm -hmm. it, it's um, just, uh, you know, it's like they're just, that's their thing. Like, they're going to go, like, that's their way of going, you know what, we don't want you to leave, so this is what we're going to do. Right. They so don't you, want us to leave at yeah. all, do they? Yeah. Okay. They don't want us, of course they don't, because we're the second second uh, richest country in Europe. So, regardless, so would you say to the, all the Remainers, we should not have a second referendum. The British no. people decided one way or the other, you yeah. just have got to accept it. I think we should accept it, and then there's always another day. Life yeah. is not a, a, yeah. a yeah. sprint, it's a marathon. Right. Okay, so we, could, we should accept it now and say, look, you know, this is democracy, yeah. this is proper, and then and then in the future we can get back together. So that's Why a not? good point. It's like, you're, like divorcing your wife, and yeah. in 10 years' time you might turn around and say, do you know what? Let's give it another well, this second is go. What I'm actually going yeah. through. So, that's if Lisa's watching point, this, yeah. uh, I hope she is. Okay. But, um, that I'm trying to, uh, since I split up with her, stop me seeing my child. It's completely messed me up, to be honest with you. Um, and will you be I'm voting in the European elections next week? Yeah. And um, you're going to be voting next yeah. Thursday? Okay. So, very good. Well, thank you very much. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Cheers. Nice. Uh, uh, what's your name, please? Robert Bay. Hello, Robert. How are you doing? Uh, we're just talking about Brexit. Um, do you think no deal is better than a bad deal? I think we should come out, but I love it. Don't affect my family friends. Who's supporting? Mm -hmm. That's so, what I need to know. But they're sitting on the bench. Right. Yeah, I saw you, and I wanted to. I guess it was about Brexit. So why do you think it's a good thing that the British no, people, in general, voted to leave? Why do you think? Because Theresa May being a dick, right. okay, it took three years, mm -hmm. and it's, we're still not out of the Brexit. And do you think now that we're leaving, the EU is showing their true colours about with this divorce deal that we're really not? Sort of I'm not sure here. because I'm not homeless, I don't have a chance to watch TV. But I'm more worried about my friend sitting over there who foreigner. If we come out, what happens to Romanian and Polish people? Which is, you know, so that's what I'm more worried about. But don't you think Britain as a rule 
can stand on its own two feet if we leave anyway. Um, do you think we're strong enough to be on our own? Yeah, but it, what happened, the people have been here for years. What happened to them? That one worry about it. But do you think Britain's a good country to come to and live then? Being in Not in Wellingborough. Not in Wellingborough. But I was born there, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. that a different story. But yeah. But I'm just worried about what happened to the farm community in this country. That all I'm So are you gonna be voting next week in the I can't the, because I'm a yeah. nurse. If I could I would have tried to arrange it, but it was such a short time. Okay then, thank you very much. Oh, yeah. But you still have an answer one thing. What's that? About the fog. What would happen? I think they, I think, I think, I think, I think, because they're here now. No, no, none of them got that. I don't really know what's going to happen. Alright. Okay. That's all I need. No, no, that's right, it's a good yeah. question. Good yeah. question. Yeah. Alright, thank you. Well, my name's Eddie, um, I'm in Wellingborough Town Centre today, just asking the Wellingborough public about their views on Brexit, with the European elections coming in next week, etc. Um, so basically what I'd like to ask you is your opinions on Brexit. Do you think a no deal is better than a bad deal? And if so, why? Well, I voted for AM. Right. So I, I would say that it's better than a no deal. Really? Why would you say that? Well, <laughs> so, do you respect, even though you say you wanted to stay as a Remainer, do, yes. do, you do, do you respect the British democracy that says the British people in general wanted to leave? So, do you think we should have a second referendum to go against the British democracy of freedom? Or do you still think we should have a second referendum? Yes, we have a policy. Right. But that's just me, isn't it? Yeah, so why, why do you think? Why do you think Remainers should justify having a referendum again when the British people overall said no? Well, it was, it was only a very slight uh, yeah, that's percentage, true. wasn't it? That's true. Yeah. But don't you think if we voted again and it was the same percentage the other way around, do you think it's still, you know... That we could go over from Yeah. Do you think we should just move on now? Or do you still think we should have a referendum again? So do you think there might have been some propaganda either way? Do you think people might have been misled? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm going to Brussels myself. Oh yeah. On are, you, Monday. are you going to knock on the door and tell them? Try and sort of. Okay. <laughs> and do you think after the referendum, Theresa May and, and, and Corbyn, etc., should have all got together and said, look, this is what we should do for the British people now, instead of leaving it too late for having this cross-party talk? Do you think they should have done it back in like, in 2017 yes. originally? Yes. Yes. I yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. On that. Yeah. So did it come? They just seem to like to disagree. Don't yeah. They? Do you think it was self-serving for themselves? Do you think that shows what they were really like? Because it seems to me they didn't really do it for the for the British people, or whatever whatever votes they wanted to for. It seems like they wanted, you know, it was all about Labour and Tories and, and stuff like that. And when we finally leave the EU, yes. do you think Britain can stand on its own two feet in this new, brave new world? Do you think we can we can still do it, so to speak? I, I would hope so, but yeah. I think it would have been better, as I yeah. said. So you're very much a Remainer? Yeah. Okay then. Well, thank you very much anyway. Okay then? Cheers. Thank Bye. You. Bye. <laughs> Hello, my name's Eddie. We're back in Wellingborough Town Centre. I've got this charming young lady here, and we're going to talk about Brexit. So, what's your name, please? My name's Nolly. Nolly? Nolly. Nolly. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So, what it is, we're talking about Brexit, okay? So, do you think the British people in general was right to vote out, or would you rather stay in? Personally, I don't, I don't know because, I, like, as a young child, I'm not really, you know, into watching the news 24/7. Yeah. But I feel like there was not really a reason for us to leave in the first place, as like, you know, lots of things are going to change after the Brexit has, um, Brexit has um, occurred. Like, all yeah. the things are going to change now, so I don't really see a difference. In but now Britain is actually leaving when we finally leave on the 31st of October. Do you think this country is strong enough in this new global world to stand on its own two feet? Or do you think we still should still be part of the EU? We still should be part of the EU. I think it was a bit of an early breakage, if you know what I mean. Because like, we still need to fix our uh, 
um, like yeah. the things that are going on yeah. in okay. like okay yeah and do you think now that we are leaving, do you think the EU is showing it's a bit of an ugly side to itself about how it's bullying us? Yeah, basically, because we're saying, um, which, as the, um, the UK, like the United Kingdom as a whole, we're not as strong as they would think, and without them, we're not really going to be as strong as okay. we like, would like. Yeah. Okay, and um, you know the no deal or bad deal, it's basically like a divorce. Yeah. You know, the no deal is, you know, we take nothing or do we take a bad deal where they only give us, or we have to give them so much. So what do you think on that? I don't, I just feel like things should just go how it is now, because it's already, Theresa May has already made her decisions on what should happen and what shouldn't, yeah. so we might as well just respect that and run with it. We can't really control it. Okay, and one more final thing. Do you think Theresa May, after the referendum, should have got all the parties together and done it on behalf of the British people? You know, do you think when, when the British people decided to leave, she should have got everybody together, yeah, all the politicians? Have. Do you think she should have done that? Because with that happening, it would have brought out a more open response, and like everyone could have had their say, and yeah. you know, things could have gone like in order. You know, yeah. not like everything just spread out as well. Okay, that's fantastic. And one more final thing. With Northern Ireland, you know, it's very complicated because Northern Ireland's a country on its own, yeah. but Northern Ireland is part of Britain. Yeah. So do you think that's quite complicated with the Irish thing, do you think? Or what, well, do you, what do you know about that? I think it is because, like, they're literally, are they, like, together? Right? Yeah, sort of together. Yeah, so, like, with two different things happening, because yeah. Ireland is more focused on, like, the island. Yeah, that's thing, true, yeah. yeah. Northern Ireland is focused on the UK as a whole, yeah. so it's yeah. going to be quite difficult to... Try something double and bring things together. Okay, well, thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Fantastic. Thank okay. you. Hello, sir. What's your name, Hello. please? I'm Mr. Keith Maker. Hello, Keith. How are you doing? I'm fine. Um, we're in Wellingborough today, just asking the general public their views on the European uh, Union. Yes. Coming up. So, next week, as you know, we've got the European elections oh, yes. on the 23rd of May. What's your opinions Brexit. on that? Are you going to oh, vote? And who are you going to vote for? If you I'll do. be voting. I'll be voting for Brexit. Um, Brexit. 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 Yes. Yes. So do you think Nigel Farage, the Brexit party, was formed because of the sort of the way the, the, the government, the parliament, is sort of misled people and not doing their job properly? Do you think Nigel Brexit was forced to, to have a Brexit party to, 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 um, because he's, he's disillusioned with the government? Yes, yes. I, 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 think, I think most people who voted to leave this yeah. the government. Yeah. Okay. And do you think um, the EU has shown their true colours now? Now we're leaving. Do you think that it's like a divorce? You know, that yes, sort of. Yes. They're showing they're, they're bullying us a bit? It's more than bullying us. It's as good as they don't want us to leave and they're going to do their hardest to make sure we don't get to leave fully. But do you think they need us more than we need them? In a way, I'd say yes. Yeah. I think we should set an example to other countries that want to be and show them that it can be done rather than the power. And do you think Britain in this new, brave new world organisation, do you think we can stand on our own two feet? I think we can, yes. It may take a while, it may yeah. take quite a time, but I'm sure in the end we will show them wise to do. Right, OK, that's very good, Keith. And also, do you think Theresa May, after we had the referendum, or the, the Tories and the Labour and even the Liberals, do you think they should have all got together Instead of leaving it too late, talk to Corbyn, because at the end of the day, the British people voted out. Whatever you respect, yes or no, they should have all got together and said, look, this is for the British yes. people. So yes, in a way they should, rather than, as it's supposed to be a democracy, which it obviously isn't, because we voted to leave, and now they're yeah. doing their hardest to make sure we don't. So they're going against democracy, really, aren't they? Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. yes. I stayed up all night to watch the vote, so I then went to the we're going to leave, and last week we to celebrate, and since then, and come 31st of October, do you think no deal is better than a bad deal? Yes, yes, no deal. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, it's Eddie again, back in the Wellingborough Town Centre. Uh, I met this young lady here called Pretty. Are you going to be voting in the European elections next I Thursday? I okay. said, yeah. And who are you going to vote for? I'm voting for the Lib Dems. You're voting for the Lib Dems? Yes. Right, okay. And why the Lib Dems? What, what? Because they're the only party that um, actually want to stay within the European Union and I'm very much for that. Very much for that. So you as a remainder? Absolutely, yes, 100%. Right, so, you know, Britain being a free democracy, okay, and the thing is Remainers, do you think they have to 
accept now that the British people want to leave because the vote said leave, or do you think we should have a second referendum because there wasn't enough information maybe? Why do you think we should have a second referendum? Because we are a democracy. Yeah. And we never a democracy. We can actually change our minds. Right. So, um, if the referendum said leave, that doesn't mean that it's set in stone. Right. Okay. We can have, we can go back to the people. Yeah. I believe there was a lot of disinformation on both sides. So, I think people are now more informed. And therefore, um, I think we should be given a chance to rethink. Now we know what's at stake. I think it's, it's, it's really imperative that the votes come back to the people. So, pretty say the next referendum which swings over the way, the same sort of margins. Do you think it then becomes a bit of a two out of three result or five out of three? No, no, because this time people are more informed, they know what's at stake. So therefore this result, the next result, is yeah. put it back to the people. That is something that has to be respected. Okay, that's, that's a good point. And do you think when, if and when we finally leave on the 31st of October before that, what sort of deal? Do you think a no deal is better than a bad deal? Or do you think any deal or, or would you I just... I think there should, there should definitely be a deal. Mm -hmm. um, because we um, we have to be part of a bigger group. Right. I think to be on your own in solitary, when we have Trump in America who has a market, we have to be part of deals on our own. We're very small. So, so do you think Britain now in this brave new global role, do you think it can stand up so to me, or do you think we're going to get sort of no. after teething problems? I, I really think the world has moved on. I yeah. know lots of people harp on back to the good old days. That's gone, isn't it? That's gone yeah. now. That was yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are now, we are in a global, you know, we're in a yeah. global world. And therefore, you know, we, you know, things have moved on. So I don't think we can survive on our own. I think we need to be in a, uh, in, in a group of uh, countries that can compete with, with Trump in America. Because otherwise we have to be beholden to, to Trump. But then you've got places like India and China, these new superpowers. Do you think it would be good that we can trade with them? Or do you let us do that? Um, to, to be honest, I mean, there's so much competition. Why would they come to what, um, you know, Where are all these deals? Yeah, that's a point. Where yeah. are all these deals? Yeah. I mean, if I could see something tangible, yeah. then I would be more sort of, oh, okay, yes, I could get more and more with that. But at the moment, it's like pie in the sky. Do so you think we're assuming that we're, we're going to get We're assuming it's, it's all, you know, it's all, you know, it's all very woolly for me, and I need something from that. Yeah, there are, where are these things? Yeah, that's very good point. And going back to the, this, this sort of parliament of government now, do you think Theresa May originally in 2017 should have got all the politicians together and said, look, referendum said we voted out, you've got to do it for the British people. Well, it seems to me at the moment, she's leaving it too late to talk to Paul Byrne, to Cable, etc. I think in hindsight, honestly, hindsight, yeah. I think that yeah. yes, I think there should be a cross party meetings on how to. Right. It's something which is such a massive decision that we cannot reverse. Yeah, yeah. I think it should have been a cross-party agreement. Okay. And with the Northern Ireland situation, it's always been a curveball with uh, British British politics. It's, it's one island, but obviously one's for and one's against. How do you think, from a British point of view, for the Irish, so to speak, how do you think we could sort of help both sides? Do you think it's too complicated? I think it's very complicated yeah. because who ever knew about the Good Friday Agreement? Who yeah. ever compromising the peace in Northern Ireland? I mean, prior to all these talks, everyone who knew these, you know, yeah, all these complications. Yeah. So I, I really think that to, to actually be with compromise the Ireland situation. Right, okay. And with the, uh, the British uh, Brexit Party, Nigel Farage, do you think he thinks He's done that because he thinks Parliament trade the referendum as well. I know you're, you're a major, but from the believers' point of view, especially Nigel Farage, do you think that was born out of he still doesn't think Parliament has done that? Well, I think Nigel Farage gets far too much, you know, um, he gets far too much coverage. Um, I, I really think that the guy is quite um, a very kind of shallow person. I mean, right. We all know about the posters that were put out, you know, yeah. um, saying that the country was flooded with the uh, immigrants. Yeah. It's actually you know, false, right. false information. So I think we give quite a lot of credence to that particular individual. Um, in the referendum, overall, it was 36 percent of. I think we had 17, what, 17 million and. Yes. Yeah. So I mean, there are 16 million people whose voices have to be heard as well.
So, do you think, from the leaders' point of view, do you think immigration was a big call to vote out? Probably, and I yeah. think because there was a lot of misinformation. Because, I mean, I didn't know that, that there was within the EU that could actually veto uh, a lot of the little country jobs that we could actually veto that. So, we already have that power within the EU. I think the EU wasn't perfect, but I think we've actually thrown the baby out with the bathroom. Right. I think we could have done more from yeah. within um, and we try to, you know, it's better to be part of um, uh, a group and try to change it from within than to have no say at all. But going back to when Cameron first went to the EU before the referendum, he was, he's very much a Remainer. Yes. But do you think the EU could have sort of gave Cameron a bit, a bit more for Britain so then the Remainers, sorry, the leaders would have not voted uh, leave? To me, when Cameron went in there, he wanted he was a Remainer, and I think most people in the country were Remainers, but I think maybe the way the EU sort of didn't give him what he wanted, concessions, maybe you think that influence, do you think they could have done it even from the EU's point of view, do you think they could have been a bit more helpful to Britain then, before the referendum, then people would have voted to remain for The thing is, we are part of the group, we are part of the group, so that we can't we can't yeah, cherry pick the things yeah. that we want. But there are a lot of things that the EU, you know, is, we should be grateful for. Yeah. We have the work directives and we have, you know, we, there are a lot of things that we um, you know, share information for, the security and there's yeah. many, many things. So I, I don't think just being part of a, a member of the union can cherry pick. So therefore, I think um, people had, I don't think a lot of people had the information that they have now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So really, this is why I really feel strong for Now that we know, we know that we are where we are, we know a lot more, and we're a little bit more informed. So therefore, I think it's here. The final decision should go back. And one final thing for you, how do you think it will pan out Well, if I had a crystal ball, I would love to tell you that I, am, I just hope that we have some sort of deal and that the whole country, you know, United gets behind it and you know we can just move forward because I think everyone is just really sick of it. Yeah, I think it's just really, really good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you very yeah, much thank for you. that. Okay, thank Hello, my name is Eddie. We're in Wellingborough Town Centre today, just after the general public vote Brexit. Um, what's your name, please? Sorry. My name's Craig. Craig. Hello, Craig. Nice to meet you. Um, I've got a few questions here, but however, if you've got anything you want to ask me as well. Um, so basically, I'm just going to say, um, do you think in Britain was right to? Do you think the general public was right to sort of vote out? No. Think you stay in? Not to. No, I think it was emotional reaction from the British public, um, and I think you're going to regret it. this about? I think, about? Um, I think leaving Europe is a bad idea. I think we need Europe. Uh, well, we also need Europeans. Apart from the channel, uh, we're Europeans. And, um, yeah, I think we're Europeans. God forbid something happens in the future and we need the help of uh, Germany, France, whoever. Then they're going to say, well, this is not about that. Yeah, but don't you think we're not leaving Europe, we're only leaving the EU, so we're still Europeans? Yeah, we're asking you to Europe. No, there's maybe a difference between Europe and EU. Okay, well there you go, maybe I'm seeing it. Oh, that's I, that's I, I, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just an average man on the street, in my opinion. So, do you think Can we I should ask go you? for a second referendum, or should you yeah, respect yeah. the British democracy of saying I think we should go for a second referendum. It's like okay. I said originally to you, I think the, uh, the, the reaction by the British public is a bit high to so, uh, I don't know. I just I, that, that's the impression I've got at the time. And that's what I can see in the papers. Who knows? Well. Do you think there wasn't enough information given, or do you probably, think it was yeah. propaganda, or do you think people twisted their words? I think or? The word propaganda is, is probably uh, a good word to use, and um, I don't think people are informed enough. Okay. And do you think now, if and when we finally leave, you think Britain can stand on its own two feet in this new global world? Do you think? This country's still strong enough to do it and trade with other people. We're, we're, not, we're not building it anymore. That's a good point. Yeah. We're not building it anymore. We're just, we're just a service. We're just a country that has services. Okay, you know, we've got people that design the Apple phone or, 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 or computer systems or what have you. 
So we haven't actually got our um, people's building steel works like you've done before, yeah. Yeah. Uh, et cetera, et cetera, coal. And when we had the referendum, do you think Theresa May and Corbyn and all the Labour leaders, they should have got together and said, look, for good or for bad, let's just get together. It seems like to me she's left it too late for cross-party talks. Do you think, it, do you think they were self-serving their own, their own sort of parties? I don't, I don't know any politicians personally, but I know that if you're a politician, you've got to be a very ruthless person. And maybe there's a bit of ego there. Maybe people should have swallowed their, swallowed their ego and sat down in a chat behind closed doors and maybe sort of something else. Out. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. That's, the, that's the generally what I think. And do you think immigration sort of went along to help the sort of vote to leave? Do you think you said about Scaremogan and Pokemon? Do you think immigration is a strong point on that? Do you mean that there was what, is that any xenophobia? Yeah, you could call it that. Or do you think people were worried that there's too much, too much immigration at one time? It's too much at one time. I'll, t I'll tell you someone who yeah, yeah, keeps their ears yeah, to the ground. Yeah, there, there were people yeah, saying that. Me personally, I like yeah, diversity. Yeah, 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 yeah. How far yeah, can well, the British people go to be diverse? Because at the end of the day, we want our own sovereignty, we want to be our own people. Yeah, but we, we always have been. You go back hundreds of years. I've got a bottle of tongues. Go back, Mike. Hey, did you do what you left? No, I'm good. No, I'm going. 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 i am going and the backdrop, etc. Do you think that's one of them problems that you really can't solve, or do you think the Irish people themselves I can think, sort it between think, themselves? I think we should leave Ireland to the Irish now. Um, I mean, it's something that's dropped out of news. I mean, I grew up in, I grew up in the seventies, and I remember Ireland being on the news every night uh, since the uh, Good Friday Agreement. There's been a couple of incidents, but I think we should leave Ireland to the Irish. I know there's, I know that there's, there's always going to be the, the loyalists that, um, that uh, are going to be loyal to this country. Mm -hmm. But they have to work out themselves. And I don't think we should get involved because when we get involved, it just, it just seems to stir up the pot. Okay. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, thank you. And um, just met this young gentleman here. What's your name, please? Paul. Paul, how are you doing, Paul? Nice to meet you. Uh, so, what it is, we've just got a few questions on Brexit. Um, will you be voting in the European elections next week? <laughs> yes. Okay, and are you gonna, who are you going to be voting for, or is that a bit personal? A bit or? personal. Okay. Um, do you think, at the end of the day, come the 31st of October before, do you think a no deal is better than a bad deal, or most of us? What do you think? I reckon a no deal. Um, we ruled the country once. Yeah. Um, I think we should lead the country again right. and just come out. Just come out. Yeah, yeah. just say we're not paying you, come yeah. out and we'll do So it's a bit like a divorce, isn't it? The yeah. wife wants so much, she wants this and whatever, yeah. and we're saying you can't have that, so we're going to give you no deal. I mean, this country is going to be um, shook up left, right, and centre. It's going to be cut back to everything until we get ourselves sorted. So do you think in the future this country can stand on its own two feet, this new global brave new world? Do you think as time moves on, do you think this country can stand on its own two feet again without even the yes, EU? Yes, we've done it once, why yeah. can't we do it again? But that was in the past though. Do you think it's a new world though? Do you think? Um, history always repeats itself. Right, okay, that's a good point. Yeah. I reckon we can go forward and show other countries how it's done. Right. Okay. Um, I'm proud to be British, yeah. but why should we be ruled by other countries? So do you think now the EU has shown its true colours, now that we're leaving, how they're sort of bullying us a bit, yes. it's not giving us a deal? Yeah. And do you think that's one of the reasons why we, 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 uh, the leavers wanted to leave, because they can see the bigger picture maybe? I do, and the EU is going to lose a lot of money to it. Um, you know, the same as anybody. If you're going for a job, you're going to go for a higher pay job, even if it's the same type of job. Mm -hmm. So why should you take less money? Mm -hmm. Why should we pay them money? 
to come out of something what they needed. And in 2016, when Cameron first went to the EU and he asked for certain concessions and this and that and the other, do you think if they were more lenient towards him, do you think we might still remain? More than it would still be there. But we're not getting anything. All we have is tenders, how much we milk we can have, how much farmers can have. Um, what wages we've got, what rules should we have. Well, who knows better than the Englishmen? You know, you, they don't live in this country, so why should they have a say? And also, we're not actually leaving Europe, we're only leaving the EU. Yeah. We're still yeah. Europeans, so that's right. So that's very good. And the Northern Ireland issue, do you think that's always been a bit of a bit of a curveball with the politics? Do you that's think always going to be um, touching down? Yeah. yeah. Um, I really can't speak for the Irish, but I think we should just cut all ties. To fight? Say, right, what? this is it, this is it, yeah. whatever you do, go ahead and do it, because we're not going And with the, with the Brexit party with Nigel Farage, do you think that was born because of the Parliament's trail of the referendum? Yes. Do you think that was born out of that? Yeah, they were uh, trying to put their own fingers and, you know, a fat wall is better than a thin one. And this is all what it's coming down to is the good old man. You know, we were still got our British pound, we're proud of it, people are totally going to have the Euro money, and I'm proud this country is coming out. We should yeah. never have went in the first place, but that's the past. Well, what we've done yeah, is I mean, wrong. In 1973, there's all, I was reading about that as well, there was a bit of spit yeah. power that we actually gone in in the first that's place. Wrong. So, in a weird sort of way, it's come full circle yeah. with, uh, with, with the, with the right. propaganda. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. So, do you think at the end of the day, the British people should respect the referendum, even though it was, what, 51, 52, 48, it was very close? Yeah, yeah. I, I think we should just stick together and say, look, no deal, we're out to you, you know, um, you're not having no more money off us, you had enough in the past, you've done us no favours, yeah. and that is it. Because also, do you think the E originally was a good idea after the Second World War? Because we had two world wars, we needed to get Europe together, we needed, you know, we but needed now time's to moved on. We needed, we needed to unite yeah. with other countries. Um, basically, we, after the Second World War, builders needed to be done, we needed to unite and rebuild our, yeah. our countries as well as theirs and help each other. Now, I'm not against other countries helping each other, but when they say, well, we're going to have such a bunch of money, now, that's not helping the country. Hello, so I've met this young man, Jeffrey. Hello, Jeffrey. Hello. Okay. Now, how old are you, Jeffrey? Me, Sixteen. Sixteen. So, really, you're a young man. You've got your whole future ahead of you. As you know, the main topic at the moment is Brexit. Okay. Overall, do you think Brexit was a good thing to leave, or do you think we should still remain? It's a good thing to leave. Good thing to leave. Yeah. And as a young man, why do you think Brexit's good? Where I've heard a lot of people think young people want Be to. Um, because we're wasting our money to Europe okay. to pay for um, like paying Brussels or that kind of money. So do you think Brest, do you think Europe then's taking more out of our economy yes. than we're getting off of them? Yeah. So to speak? Okay. Yes, okay. And do you think a no deal was better than a bad deal then? Yes, it is because no deal is better. Okay, and why do you say that? So we can become just like oh, a bit poor. So, so we don't have to be um, in their kind of way. Like, right. So you think the about. British people like to stand on their own two feet? They like to have their own yeah. sovereign sort of thing. So they're um, independent. So yeah. They don't have no help. Because this country's always been quite independent. Yeah. So do you think Britain, when we finally leave the EU, do you think in this new brave new world? Globalisation. Do you think we can stand on our own two yeah, feet? Yeah, so we can be independent again. Okay, so it's all very well being independent, but can we survive? Can we trade with other countries? Do you think we is can it? survive if you pay um, import taxes? Mm -hmm. if we can trade with other okay. countries. And do you think Theresa May, when the referendum result came through, 
Um, do you think she should have got all the parties together and said, look, on behalf of the British people that voted to leave, yes. we should now, as one, oh, seems like she's left it too late. What do you think on that? Yeah, I think yes. Yes, yeah, she's far too late. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how do you think personally it's all going to pan out now? I mean, we got to the 31st of October ish. Do I don't know, it's like half and half. Really, <laughs> okay. But and, yeah. okay, and Jeff, and what about your friends at your age? Are they, what are they, what are, what's your. I friends? don't have that many friends. Okay, your so friends, so your, your friends are. What, you, talk to what are your young, what do your sort of fellow friends think about I have Brexit? Old friends, when, yeah. when, when they talk about Brexit, I mean, you must have talked to people. Yeah, they were, um, I don't speak to them much, but I think they will want to leave. They want, they want even yeah. the youngsters want to leave. Yeah. yeah. That's quite interesting because um, the propaganda or what I've said on the heard on the telly, it's all it's all the lead, all the youngsters want to remain. So yeah. that's not quite true then, yeah. in your point of view. Yeah. Because I yeah, I think we all should leave. <laughs> yeah. And do you think the politicians overall are self serving? Mm. Or do you think they serve in the interests of the people? Yeah. Serving. Yeah. Self-serving. Yeah, yeah. self serving. So do you think that was one of the reasons people voted out maybe with all the Bureaucracy in, in, in Europe and, and the people in power getting their own way, or do you think, do you think the little man sort of turned around and said, Look, I've had enough of this? It was their chance to vote out. Do you think that might have been one of the reasons people yes. voted out? Okay, yeah. that's great. Okay, and Northern Ireland, I don't know if you know much about Northern Ireland, Northern Ireland has always been quite complicated. Trump, you're trying to make it difficult as they can. When you say who, 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 who? Um, Northern Ireland can make it as difficult, and you're trying to make it as difficult so we can't leave. But do you think Northern Ireland's always been a complicated thing? You know, it's one island but two sort of countries and yeah, you've got exactly. two different points of view. Do you think that's always been a bit... Do you think with the Northern Ireland thing we should sort of back off a bit or do you think um, the Irish people should do their own stuff? Um, yeah, I, yeah, I should do their own stuff, yeah. Okay, and what would you say to the um, Romanians who want a second referendum in a country that's got different... No, say, um, say no to a f um, second referendum. Because they're doing our first one, just keep us first, don't do yeah. a second one. Yeah, because... In democracy. That's, so democracy yeah. really should be the, the anchor, that should be the... Mm. Yeah, it should be the first one, just keep us first one. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Jeffrey. Yeah. That's fantastic. Thank, thank you. 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 Thank you.